Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome to the Isengard campaign. This is the 13th episode and today something very great is going to happen. We're going to siege out Karas Galadhorn with Saruman the gatekeeper and we're going to acquire the One Ring and I hope it's going to work. Now we have Oglok here and we have Othrod here. We're ready for these elven buggers. Uh, I did skip one turn just to make make it a little bit more interesting. This entire episode is going to be dedicated towards the events happening around the ring. We did take Utu Tau, uh, which is great. And uh, Lupon is now moving on to uh, Thanos. And Gondor is very, they're struggling very hard. Haradrim are, yeah, they're going to capture Pelargi soon. And Gondor will soon be dead. Uh, the, the remnants of Ankantar's army is now sieging out uh, um, the town of uh, Linhir. We're sieging out Ostithil over here, and we're going to try to defend Oy Ugurs because they have two large armies coming in, and a catapult and a lot of archers is going to be able to hold a lot of guys just out of this settlement. So that's uh, very great. We can now start recruiting uh, pikes and infantry from here. We already got some here. So we're looking very good now. I also renamed a couple of settlements just to have them all renamed. So that's looking very nice. So now let's just end the turn. Like, I'm really excited about this. I'm not going to let any minor battles take the focus of, this, of today's events. And uh, now we're just going to focus on the ring. It's going to be so exciting. Like, I've never captured it before. Ah, they're going inside. Alright, so Saruman is just going to siege them out. And we're going to see the battle for Karas Galadhorn. Um, yeah. Just like we saw the battle of uh, Fornost yesterday. I mean, uh, the battle of Amon Sul. I've never lost that many units in a battle before. But... It was an interesting battle, and if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go and see it now. Now let's see what will happen here. Nazgul returned to Tolgudur, Nazgul returned to Mordor, Anduin falters. This army is just continue, they just continue to follow me. I'm going to try to place them on the bridge. Now the ring is supposed to be in Karaskaladhorn. So we're just going to start sieging them out now, and we're finally at war with Lorien. I'm actually... Yeah, we're going to try to attack these guys and make them sell out, and we could take Lim here this turn. And it's going to work out. Uh, however, we could take a look at some of these units on the battlefield, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, uh, simply because I want to focus on the ring. So I will see you shortly on the battlefield, and I'll show a, bit, a little bit. Alright guys, we're here. Just thought I'd take a short look on some of these units. This is the Yavanna Chosen, a Halberd unit for the Bathorian. It's a late game Halberd unit, so let's just check their stats. Actually, you're not supposed to go and hit them. Let's see. So, they got 21 total defense, 9 attack and 5 charge. Their main... Like, they are effective against armor, which makes them very great. And of course, they're Halberd units, so... And they're much better in this patch than the previous patch. So that's going to make them a lot better. Now, here we have some other units. This is the Lorien Waters, which is basically the mainline spear infantry, which uh, the elves of Lothlorien field. And it has a very great defense stat and decent attack. They are quite good. And now, here we have the Lorien Centres, which is a sword kind of unit. They also have a very great defense and decent attack, so they're also very good. These units are very defensive, um, and they work very well for that reason. Now I'm not going to show very much of this battle. We're going to be able to surround these guys, so we're just going to hit them, then let them attack us. I'll see you after battle. Now let's take a quick look at the Elbert Sentinels. It's the bodyguard unit for Lothlorien. They have 16 armor, 28 total defense, and 12 melee attack, and 11 missile attack. They are monsters. Definitely use them in both melee and um, use up all their ammo and then just throw them into melee as quick as you can. 
They are definitely just monsters. Now we are crushing these guys. It's going very good. Uh, let's just save the ammo for a little bit and let's just take down the last remaining troops here. Like this archer army is just very effective. It's been working out very well. They're very quick though. Elves run like monsters. So they're very hard to capture. You guys can capture these guys. You guys as well. But we are winning this battle, which is excellent. There the general goes. So we have already captured Blim here, which is very useful. Yeah, they're both the generals goes. I will just see you on the map again. We only lost like 70%. It was a very effective battle. Works can be used very efficiently. Warg Marauders 101 kills. Very great. Like this could be a depiction of either Valinor or Umbar. Like the style is very. It could definitely be Umbar. I don't know. It. Yeah, it may look like. It's some kind of ocean nearby. Leave your guess. What the, What do you think this place is in Middle Earth? It could be a lot. But now Lim here is ours. Let's execute these guys. Now I'm not uh, I'm tempted to go for Tassa Doom soon. Let's sack it, we get six thousand. Let's get these guys and this will give us two thousand six hundred and it for nothing. We can definitely upgrade this place not too long as well. This is great. Uh, the culture is not fine, but it's going to be nice. Dominion of Ice Guy, Realm of Lothlorien. Ah, more Beast Breeders. Then we could probably recruit trolls now. Yeah, we can. Let's get them. The Witch King is back. I'm gonna stick you. Probably be wise to take him out. However, I really want to fight out a real cool battle over here. And I want to send this. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna oh, yeah. stick you. I'll send it. Yeah, actually it's fine with these two. Get ready for fighting. Take your feet up. Listen, oh. We'll have some excellent units here as well. Let's just see how many we can have. Three plus four. Yeah, that's it. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just get rid of these guys. And then we'll be able to have that will be six. We can get another one. Let's just get some arches, perhaps. Or we already have a. Yeah, it's fine, actually. Let's get some arches there. And we can get trolls here as well. Let's get the beast training ground. It's going to cost a lot, but it's definitely going to be worth it because we'll get the Olog High. And we have the best. Wow, it's very expensive. If you're a martyr, you can recruit the great beasts from this uh, building. Definitely want to get a foundry as well. We have some real strong troops here. Have a taste of my have a if they taste come of my for Sag Ulkars, we'll be able to sense that out. How many can we... Yeah, we can have a lot here as well. Five. Let's just stack these places up with tr units. Now as we have the money. Now you were just going down here to see how, yeah, it's not very well defended at all. I'm tempted to let them go for Pelagir first though. I'm not going to help these guys now. I'm just going to let Mordor and Gondor take as many as they can. I think that's kind of properly defended actually. That kind of leaves me to want to go for the Lamb of This army is actually very battered when we take a real look at this. We don't really have that many force. Like these guys are kind of, Yeah, we have like three, four, five units, which really isn't any unit. We only have like one row of units. Just take this instead and just take a little while and just build up. We are getting, yeah, we're getting proper culture here and we have these guys. Grima is over here. Where would we need him though? Probably or at this place. I definitely want to get the south fronts and the other guys on our team. 
Wow, the, these guys are coming for us now. Let's just stack all of these guys inside here. Might be able to defend it. I'm not sure. We'll have to see about it. <laughs> we still can't recruit units from this place. That's kind of hilarious. Let's get more of these guys just to have them. I suppose. We already have recruited some of these guys to this place as well. Let's just put these elites in the fort. Oh, these guys are coming. Just going to have the elites standing here for now. Yeah, three is only. Okay, now definitely. Okay. Yeah, let's just hold the bridge there for now. Uh, Oglock, you could potentially. Let's see. Yeah, they're going to be quite mad. If I leave a couple of more units, it's going to be okay though. That's actually fine. Just stand with Othrol over here. And you guys will figure out something in the next turn. In the next turn we will bring down Kalas Galadon. It's going to cost us a lot of units, but it will definitely be a cool battle. And we have these Orthan Card and Urukai Pikemen. Let's get two more units for next turn. That's going to be nice. Going to be able to defend that properly. Ost Ether, I'm just going to keep sieging. And over here we are just waiting for them to siege us out. It's going to be a fun battle. I'm gonna stick you. Listen up. Get ready for fight. Oh. Okay, let's end the turn. Regroup, you louts. This is going to be such an exciting campaign when we get the ring. It's already very exciting. We're fighting multiple factions. Greetings. You want trade rights with me? I don't think you really want that. We're going to slaughter you. We're going to we're going to bring them down. Yeah, the elves are back and they are taking out Matufka. I'm going to fight that battle off camera, and I will be right back. I didn't even want to fight this battle. I just ultra resolved and it it worked out. Ah, they're coming for Taugrish. That might be a problem. We'll have to send troops from Matufka or from uh, Anulond, which is, it was previously known as. We should definitely bring those, like, bring down Enderwife when we can. We're going to send Naskai into Enderwife and slaughter them with Naskai. Nask will return to Mordor. Oh, they will only hold one more turn, but they have these these reinforcements here. Ah, uh, yes, we're getting lot loads of uh, nice units here. These units can be sent down here just to have them here in reinforcements. Yeah, Gondor is really struggling now, aren't they? Where is our spy? He's here. Have you come to negotiate? Fanulon is holding out for now. They have Swan Knights here. Which will fall. That's sad. Tauska. What is this general? Oh, stupid general. Yeah, I will fight that uh, battle as soon as I can. Now let's. They're probably going to attack him here. But we, the first thing we're going to do. Oh, they have more armies coming. We're going to attack Lauren right now. We're going to see the Battle of Karas Galatron. It's going to be quite exciting, guys. Get ready for fighting. Come and get me. Yeah, we definitely need to bring down this army as well. Six units. I 
that's like five. And you can just stay inside here for now. And we'll take care of this guy. Alright, I will take care of this guy. And I will fight this battle over here as well. And I will see you right after I have done those processes. So how do you slaughter Gurdinan? You just throw all their arrows you can at them. They are a very strong unit in melee. They're going to rack up kills. But if you just use some arrows against them, they're going to be quite vulnerable. That's what you want to do to bring them down. You see they're already brought down by a lot. But uh, they're general routed pretty early on, so we're just going to be able to surround them completely. Which is quite useful to be honest. Just going to bring their archers down with all we got. And we're just going to surround them completely. But I will see you. Very successful battle. Lost like 10% of what they lost. And against elves, that's very good. Because what we need to think about is when we bring down Karas Galadhorn, a Doomstack army is going to spawn. And what we really want to do then is to make an army stand on the bridge. So Ugluck is definitely going to stand on that bridge. We could send the other army towards let's see the settlement over here a dry can we could still wait a little bit let's just get up from our towers and now it's time to finally do what we set out to do today Limir is has a nice garrison now let's bring down Karas Galadon and acquire the one ring they are going to get a solid garrison we're going to lose loads of troops. They have one, two, three, only three arch units, but in this map it's going to be devastating. And these guys don't even have armor, most of them. It's going to be a hard battle, but uh, we'll definitely win, I hope. I will see you on the battlefield. All right, we're here, guys. We're just going to let them, yeah, we're going to see what they do. Okay, so they have a lot of Elven Defenders, I don't, yeah, we can look at their stats. They have 8 in defense, 10 attack, 7 armor. <laughs> like, they're almost like the half Spear Spearguard, and they're already only a garrison unit. And they have Gordinan, they have Lauren Lancers, and they have these guys. We're going to take a closer look at these units when we get a, bit li a little bit closer. And now, uh, these guys have a lot of armor, so it's probably wise to send them up pretty early on. Just to soak up a lot of a lot of uh, arrows. These guys as well, like, they hold up a, a lot, they have a lot of armor. Uh, but we definitely want to wait with the elites. So the pikemen, they are incredibly strong unit you know how strong the Dunlanding pikemen have been these guys have like for real very good stats they have 19 total defense most come from their armor so you want to make sure that you don't get targeted too much uh, with armor piercing the orthan guard have 16 armor and 28 defense they're very defensive unit uh, also very good and these guys have 12 attack and 25 total defense they are monsters, definitely. So I'm looking forward to just fielding armies consisting of only these guys. Now this gate is very little and they will definitely give us some trouble. So I'm going to send forth some of these guys which have armor. And we're sending forth these guys as well. Just want to establish ourselves inside the city as quickly as possible. Doesn't really look like they're going to give us any arrows over here, so I'm just going to send these guys a little bit closer. These guys are getting targeted by the arrows, but it doesn't really matter. Now Saruman. I suppose these guys could go over here as well. And 
And there it goes. Now I think they're going to camp in the town center. But even though they're just doing that, it's going to be a difficult battle. I'm not kidding, like, these guys are monsters. Can we take a look at the Elberet Arches? Oh, he only gets... This is uh, the elite uh, arch unit for La Florian. I think Halder is their bodyguard. Like, they're the bodyguard for Halder. They got... You just look at their stats. We won't definitely want to send the Berserkers against these guys. But they have a very large mis me melee attack as well. So they're going to hold up pretty well, even though... That's why they're so good. Now, I'm just going to send in the Arches, to be honest, just to let them be some uh, cannon fodder. Simply because these guys are monsters. And they're going to slaughter whatever we send through this gate. Now, let's just initiate. Let's send these guys up as well. We're going to wait with Saruman. This works, we can bring it a little bit closer as well. Alright, it's looking pretty nice now. But you see they're already getting targeted quite heavily. Now, how much armor did this, these guys have? They had sev 7 armor. We probably want to send these guys in towards these guys, but... Let's just let's just start it off. I don't know; they are not really that aggressive at the moment, so why not just start it off? Okay, these guys. Actually, yeah, no. Now you have to commit. You guys need to get out of there. It was a bit stupid sending th that unit all alone in it on itself. Now you want to target these guys, but you see they're already targeting our archers with a lot of units. They are our cannon fodder. We're going to help out this, uh, out uh, these guys though, with our raiders. You guys as well. Let's just bring them in. I'm going to send some more units in as well. These guys are going to get a couple of hits in. Uh, now the elven defenders are actually coming over here. Let's just bring them like this. And you guys as well go up here. These guys are holding up quite well considering how they're doing at the moment. Yeah, that's nice. Started getting in some hits. Now our unit is finally starting to come in over here. This unit is kind of... Merged. But where is the... Yeah, these guys are actually... Let's bring them over there. As I said, we're going to wait a little bit with our elites. You guys come up much closer. Saruman as well. And you guys hit... You just surround these guys by now. And the archers can hit over here. Actually, you want to hit the Lauren scouts. And they are actually already bringing uh, down these guys. Let's get them in. Lauren Scouts is a very good um, missile carry unit. You're going to see them wreck some, wreck up a lot of kills. Rack up a lot of kills. Now we're just going to run these guys in. And by this time we need these guys over here to deal with sentries. Now how much armor? They have a bit of armor. Yeah. They're just... We should have sent in a couple more units. However, we are able to not get completely crushed uh, by arrows when we do it like this. You guys just hold this position. You guys are getting in a couple of nice hits over here. You guys are going over here. And let's send in you guys as well over here. The elves here are kind of surrounded. But they're still... They have still killed more of us than we have of them, but we're sending in our trash, of course. They have 100 Elbereth Archers, though. That's really going to hurt. I 
I'm going to save the Uruk Reavers um, for a bit, little bit later. There we go, now this team is kind of surrounded. Let's just bring them forth. Sometimes just running your units through like this is going to help them really attack properly. Now uh, Urukai Raiders. Yeah, you see these units are kind of good when they push the enemy or push our troops back like this. Let's bring these guys like this and give these guys some proper wallies. Lauren Scouts have barely been brought down. Let's send in more Raiders. Let's not get these guys stuck in melee. These Lauren Sanders are now surrounded. These guys are struggling though. I think we need some... Yeah, we could, we could use the archers over here though. Just shoot them straight in the backs. In their backs. Let's do that. You guys are just going to stand here and guard for now. Going to start shooting them now. Let's see if it works out. It's very close. And they have no shield on their backs. I think it would be more efficient to just throw in these guys. To be honest. You guys can start hitting uh, these elven defenders on upcoming. Let's add in more guys. We still haven't really used any of our elites. These guys are kind of the half elites. Just surrounding units with numbers is how we want to deal with elves. Just make them stun locked because they are so powerful. Hit the Lauren Lancers, they're going to wreck havoc in not too long. Or we could hit these guys in the backs. Berserkers are out here. We are getting more units in though. You guys are needed over here. Yeah, they're just getting mostly arcing shots. It's much more worth going for these guys. Now let's run these guys through. Lauren Scouts have a lot. No, they don't have that much armor. Lauren Lancers though, I definitely think they have a lot of armor. It would actually have been better to send in the Spear Guard against those cavalry units. Let's just check how much uh, armor these guys have. They have... Yeah, they didn't really have that much either. The Florin is kind of... They don't really have a lot of armor. They just have a lot of strong units. That kind of rely on their defense skill instead. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, we're doing nicely. It's else we're up against. Now send in these guys and try to go for these Lancers. And in not too long these guys are going to start coming in. Then it's going to be very interesting. Let's in Saruman as well, let's get some proper shots into the Elven Defenders. Also looks like these guys need some reinforcements now. Let's send in these guys. These guys are getting very much targeted. Oh, the Lorraine Lancers are in. Let's get more of these guys as well. Still going to wait a little bit with the pikes. Now we can take... Oh yeah, let's bring them up. Actually the reavers might want to go over here. Actually I, I'm going to go completely around and just surround them. Yeah, Salmon, you can wait a little bit. They still haven't sent in their Elbert Sentinels, Elbert Archers. Still saving them for later. And these guys are getting completely crushed. Oh, 
Let's just have Saruman in the back. Now you guys gotta run. All right, send you guys over here. As well as you guys. I'm going to start surrounding these units a little bit more. Now nah, hit the Lauren Lancers, definitely. Saruman, you gotta hit. I really want you to hit these guys if you have the range. Now let's try to encircle them over here. Let's run these guys through a little bit more. Now that's a much better position. Alright, it's about time we start sending in some of these guys. Let's completely surround now. Let's get the Berserkers over there. We are targeting Saruman, but he have a lot of armor, so that's going to be fine. These guys have been completely crushed. Need these guys on the right flank, as well as the Berserkers. And these guys are going to come in in the end. Just finish off the last remains. There we go. That's going to make some real, real hits. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Just look at these bolts crashing down. These guys are getting completely destroyed by Saruman's bolts. Now the Berserkers are in inside. These guys are holding up fine over here. Berserkers are going to start attacking. I really want them to get the Elbert Arches. They have such a high armor stat. So let's just wait a little bit with the Berserkers. Let's send them back. And you guys are going to go over here. Even though these guys are also armor piercing. Oh, they're actually coming now. Let's get the Berserkers into some action. Lauren Lancers are falling apart. And you guys are going to go straight over here. The Berserkers are going to go around here and take on the Albert Arches. And these uh, Berserkers actually have upgraded armor. Now they look like yeah, Uglock's bodyguard. Now it's time to send in these guys as well. Let's get all of our units in. This is going to be interesting. Oh, it's actually Saruman which is firing at them. Oh, the Gurdinan is actually right up for taking. Let's use the bolt against the Gurdinan. Gurdinan is very susceptible to arrows. This is going to be a 50-50 battle, but it's going to be worth it just sacrificing one unit against the Albert Arches. That's a very good situation for us. These guys are mostly just standing behind. Let's get them around there. Get them properly. Now we're taking in the Urukai Pikeman, the very notorious unit for Isengard. The Gordon is falling apart once Saruman started hitting them. Now uh, these guys can probably go around here. Actually, let's send them against the uh, Albert Archers. They don't they aren't armor piercing and most of their defense come from the armor. Pikeman can stand like this and let's get these guys over here. Gordon is getting absolutely slaughtered. Just look at this. Saruman's bolt can be such. Oh wow! These guys have been completely crushed. Let's get the Urukai infantry straight in, straight in, over here. Saruman just hit the Elven defenders instead. Now are the Gordon? Yeah, they're not armor piercing. 
most of these guys are um, defense comes from the armors. That's fine. This is actually the Legio one from Isengard, the unit we started with, which I have retrained. That's kind of cool. Now let's get the pikes into here. You guys are going to surround these uh, Albert units. Yeah, the, the Berserkers are doing very good against them. Now I suppose we could get some works in here as well and just completely surround these units. At this point. Yeah, it might not be worth sending these bolts anymore. Let's get Saruman around and flanking. You guys just hit the Elven defenders. Only half the enemy force remains. Yeah, we're crushing them now. These guys are doing very well again as well. Gudnan has been completely devastated by this Urkai infantry. Saruman, you're going around. Vanguard holding up well. Pikemen still haven't lost a single man. They're just going to stand in guard mode there and just do what they can. That's how you use them properly. Now, or thank God, let's surround these uh, Albert. You guys go over here. And you guys definitely go around here. I, I'm enjoying this campaign so much now, guys. I'm very grateful that you're watching this. And let's enjoy this together. Even though it can become a little bit repetitive at such a battle, it's enjoyable nonetheless. Just seeing out how we are working our way through. Let's get these works into some action. Now, there's no hope left for Haldir, the March one. We're actually supposed to go in like here, Salman. And now, works. let's taste some elf flesh. We did send in every unit, we did. Right, you guys not supposed to send any more arrows. These guys still haven't lost a single man. These guys are performing very well. It's going to be nice having these guys fighting in all our armies. Proper units. It's much more interesting. The Berserkers have lost a lot. But the Albert Archers are down to 49. Pikeman is in perfect formation at this point. They're not losing anything. You guys can just stand in town center. It's just going to save us some time. Yeah, we're probably going to win on time here. Now Galadriel will fall. I don't know why Galadriel isn't a general in this mod. I think that's very weird. I think she definitely should get her own general instead of Caliborn. Or even, yeah, instead of Caliborn, we should have Galadriel. It's after all one of the. Like, she's very great. She threw down Dol Guldor on herself. By herself. That should definitely count for something, if you ask me. Pikeman only lost a single man or a single Uruk. It's so cool. The Berserkers were devastated though. I just really want to bring him down. I don't really care if we lose a couple of extra units. It's going to be quite amazing. There he goes. Halder is down. Saruman, bring down the last victims. They're fighting bravely. Beside the tree. And victory. We have taken Karas Galatron. We almost lost nobody of these guys. Wow, 145 by Saruman. Bengard performing very well. Pikeman, 26, 26 kills. So you lost. Berserkers, you are definitely the ones here which did the best, to be honest. Considering what unit you, you were up against. You lost almost all of your men though. But you fought bravely to the death. It was kind of like in the movies. Even though... The La Florian Elves never were um, in Helm's Deep. Haldir was taken down by a Berserker, I believe. And that's how it ended here as well. Now we're going to sack this place. 
And I think we need to have this army standing inside of Karaskaladon for another turn before we can get the ring. I believe it's like that. Oh, sack this place, 8,000. The spoiler of Karaskaladon. Now let's bring it down to low tax rate. Let's get the shrine. Let's ruin this building. Great down skilled. Let's bring that down as well. Mirror of Galadriel. It's very interesting. Now let's call it the Golden Forest in Black Speech. Forest. Golden. Nice. There we go. We're making solid money now. Let's uh, let's bring in a couple of more units over here, though, and just let's just merge all the units we can over here. Yeah, we have already done. So let's bring some more archers, or perhaps some of these guys. We have more units here we can send as well if we really need it. Now we just we have taken out um, Lauren so fast. They have. Two settlements left, which would be nice to just bring down. 12,000, let's just spend it wisely. Now as we are able to. Oh, let's get this. I want some more Olokai. Let's get some Berserkers and another Catapult. Now it, this one is just going to be... Oh, we're already down to 1,000 again. Let's get some proper units here, shall we? Need a real we need some real garrisons around these areas now. now let's just check. We have an army here, but we we have the reinforcements we need. Let's get the berserkers. These guys are coming, but I'm recruiting more units. No biggie. Let's bring these guys. I suppose let's bring these guys to this fort. Yeah, still making very much money. Now, I just want to keep you here for now. And Osithu will probably rebel. I mean, uh, sally out. Okay, let's end the turn. Wow, I'm so excited now. I think we need to wait one more turn though. We're not going to see if the we really captured the ring. We might see it as an as ancillary though. But uh, I have read that it might take more than one turn to really see the effects. Oh, they are at attacking Taurish. At least we're getting the troops. I think anyways. So we should be able to handle them quite well. Now we definitely have the money to oh they're attacking Uskokut but we do have work so we're going to be able to bring that army down very easily. Let's hope they attack Lurch as well. I really want a nice battle over there. Ah they're selling out at Ostithil. I'm going to fight that battle off camera. Yeah they're bringing large armies but they don't really have any good units. They have two units but they're going to rout as they have always I'll see you right after the battle. Slaughter they were, even though a lot of them escaped. It was a very successful battle. We killed both their generals. So we should be able to get Ossithil now. We are going to make it a little bit longer episode. Around one hour or so today. Even though a lot of my episodes come around that time anyways. But we're going to see... I want to see the ring acquired today. I want to see if it worked out. It's very interesting. I don't think we're going to see it the next turn, but hopefully the turn after it. If we do not see it the turn after this one, it's going to be very weird. Let's get Ossithil. There we go. Now I like our border. On the one side, it's with Gondor, and on the other side, it's with Mordor. And we can probably hold Ossithil quite easily. I don't want to push out from there just yet. Because that's going to make us... Definitely going to make some problems for us. Galadriel falters. The steward stands proud. 
Lauren raised. Khan Doom under siege. Wow. The One Ring has been found. My lord, we have acquired a great ring of power. The One Ring bestows immense power upon those with a will strong enough to make use of it. But it also carries ruin and great danger with it. We have better wait the Dark Lord to tell us what to do next. Oh, I don't think so. The choice. We have it. After hours spent pouring over old tombs and then hunting down the blaster thing, we have it. The One Ring is in our hands. Now we are faced with a stark choice that will set our future path in stone. Do we side with Sauron and accept his overlordship? No, thank you. Blah blah blah. Should Saruman come to mastering and even the darkest servants of Sauron may come to fight by our side. So we give the One Ring to its true master Sauron. By clicking the thick, you will give the ring to Saruman. By clicking the cross, you will give the ring to Saruman. Saruman's ring. Hail to the new lord of Middle-earth. By accepting the ring, you have ensured our rebellion will rise against the weak fool that sits in a dark tower. We will become the new ruling power of this land. However, before we make our new stance clear, you should learn to use the one ring so we can demonstrate our new power. This will take a season. So do not be alarmed when the benefits of the ring are not immediately granted to us. Once you have mastering, a new order will rise. Yes, guys. We got it. That's sick. And Kaevartheon. An ah, uh, this is the army I was fearing. Uh, we definitely need to make some use of this bridge, I think. Right, of count. Okay, but we actually got the ring. That's just sick. In not too long, the Witch King is going to leave for um for us. Let's get some berserkers here. Ah, the trolls is recruiting. Getting the catapult as well. Let's get the foundry. We're making super much money now. We can basically just build everywhere we want. Let's get the beast cage. I want to just recruit trolls everywhere. Let's get the foundry as well. Foundry and drill square. Dark temple is also very good. These guys we need to deal with. Yeah, I guess. Let's just get some, actually let's get some roads. Suppose we could go for Dark Temple. Yeah, we're already making enough over here. So we have space for only two units. That's what we have currently aimed for as well. In here, yeah, we can. They have gotten so much recruitment. Let's just get the barracks here. Actually, let's get the slave quarters and then the barracks. Yeah, we're making, making just so much. Ah, the trolls is coming as well. It's going to be a great time from now on. Now, Castle Doom is here. Need to watch out for those guys. Erisian. Let's just get this guy out of the way. I'm going to fight this off camera though. I don't, I don't want to auto solve it. It's going to be very bad. I will be right back. Let's go. I think I'm going to try to stand a pretty small army on the bridge towards Karaskalathorn because I think the army will want to attack us then and then we shall just slaughter them because that army is definitely going to deal some damage to us. It's really powerful but if we can get a proper bridge battle it should work out. Let's get them boys, let's get them. Dogul Dor is here now, and I think they are going to, wait. Oh, we can't actually place these guys on the bridge. That's very unfortunate. That's actually very, very unfortunate. What if we were to, all right, we're going to be very cheeky now. We're going to try to make them attack this army, and then get Ogluk as reinforcements. 
Or we could just place Saruman on the bridge. However, we're probably going to need a lot of units down here. Okay, these guys are no, nowhere. These guys, not really. But they're kind of heroic anyways. Alright, if we stand those on the bridge. But they don't have enough arches. Nah, let's just... I'm just going to let Saruman stay in here for now. And then there was this battle. Alright, I will see you after battle. Actually, I just decided let them siege us out. They can't really. We can't really lose that many units, anyways. It's going to be okay. We're going to be able to defend this place. Now, we probably want to stack up a couple of units here. We have space for two. Let's just get these guys just to have proper defense. And we might want to hit Taragrandos. Taragrandos. These guys. Should we just. Straight for, for the Lamar? I am tempted to go for the Lamar. Yeah, it's looking very weak actually. Let's let's bring it down to them, boys. This is a weak army, but we'll see what will happen. I think it could work out. We definitely want to acquire the, the Lamb before these guys do. Yeah, that's just a pity army. Pitiful army. These can't do much either. Have a very strong garrison here. Let's hope they attack here. Now I just want to finish another turn just to see what they do. This army though we definitely want to hit. Or do we? Actually most of their army consists of spearmen and such. Yeah, I think we might want to wait with this one as well. I want to use the words nicely but... We're going to be able to do it. It's more that I just want to see what will happen up here. Alright, let's end the turn. Grima is on his way. Now, Lugon I don't really care about anyways. Let's just make him try to take down on the Lamarth. It might be a stupid decision because when the last stack spawn army will spawn, we'll definitely get trouble. But it's just going to be a bit of fun. Yeah! They're attacking Oyogurs! Awesome. I really want to defend that place properly. It's such a nice place to defend. Ah, oh, they're going to attack Fukaj. But we're getting... We're recruiting reinforcements this turn. That doesn't really matter. But they are actually moving on Tau Skahatrog now. So we might want to send... Lughorn back. It's better to just defend these places properly. Oh wow! They got another. Wow. Da the Dark Lord returns? What the fuck? Sauron keeps the One Ring. A new Lord of the One Ring is born. The ground shakes as the roar of the Urukai echoes out into the forest surrounding Isengard. The people of Middle Earth. Human, elf, or goblin, and many more tremble with fear as they whisper to one another in awe of the power which lies in the hands of Lord Saruman. Joyous cries resonate from the settlements under Isengard control, for its strength has increased tenfold, and we have gained an advantage against any enemy. The Nazguls leave Sauron! Ah, this is what we want. They're coming for us, guys. You lost Sauron's protection. The Lord of Tolgaldur is dead. And our relationship have just been reduced very much with a lot of factions. Following factions are now at war with each other. Yeah. We're at war with basically everyone. Dolgaldor, Dol Amroth, Remnants of Angmar, Northern Dundine. Advisor promoted after years of loyal service and devotion. Another servant has been accepted to be advisor of Sauron, immediately becoming one of the most powerful figures in land. 
I don't really understand this. Has something bugged happened? I I almost feel like Sauron like Sauron has returned. Let's just check. I'm going to do toggle for here. No, he ha he hasn't returned. That was really weird. But it's no longer the Witch King which actually hits us out because he has left for us. That's so awesome. Now in one turn we'll have trolls over here. We have real units here now. Yeah, there's something more units over here. Let's get the Beast Breeder. We're getting these Berserkers as well. I think it's going to be a while before we get the first uh, Nazgul. But when can we recruit Nazgai? I definitely want to look out for that. I don't know when it happens. But we're not almost not making money now at this point. Uh, Rizian actually bothered, bothered off. That's excellent. Now we have a lot of archers in this army. Let's bring a couple of units out and see if uh, he will want to attack us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a lot of archers and some wargs. They would want to attack us now. Actually, we might outnumber them. We might want to bring another unit of berserkers into this settlement and merge these guys. Buffer is kind of. Let's see what will happen. Just still sitting out this place. Let's build a proper tower. This battle is going to be very exciting. Now, after I have defended against uh, Ilkron, we're going to start hitting Balador. The Nazgul won't return anyways. So we should just make... Um, or leave. Oh wow, the steward is going down. I think Gondor only holds Pelargir and these towns now at this point. Let's use our spy and just check down here. Yeah, so what do we want? This guy will be able to. Yeah, we definitely need to defend though. We need to go back. This guy is going to slaughter these settlements. We can't recruit units here for a little while either. Just going to alter all that. There we go. No fool, send your emissary to me. I will only address you in battle. Yeah, I'm not going to let them siege us out completely. But that will not happen. Ah, it's because we moved down. Come and get me, you coward. Let's get the bags over here. I want to start pushing any right now. Let's just fill up Isengard with troops. Let's get these guys. Let's just build stuff everywhere. Like, why not? I'm just going to make a powerhouse. Not making much money though. It's a lot of sacking here and there. Was that all for this turn? It's so much to keep notice of uh, this at the moment. We should finish this episode soon. I just want to see if we're going to be able to recruit those Nazca. And let's make this army a little bit more systematically. Get 
Let's bring in the elites first. And afterwards, let's bring in these guys. That's some proper. No fool, send your emissary to me. That's some proper army. We're going to push Kazadoom. I just have to deal with this army first. Let's see what he does. They still hold Dolgaldor. Wales of Andin seems to be aggressive. Alright, let's hope they attack us over here as well as over here. I think I'm going to be able to fight out those battles anyways. It's just I want to see how the ring script is evolving. It's just such interesting. I haven't been... I've never came this far before. And I've played DAC for over 1000 hours. And I've never experienced this. So it's just going to be really exciting. Marisian is actually leaving. Wow. Now Castle Doom is definitely our next target. Just because of the pure money making that settlement is. I'm going to fight this battle of camera. Won the battle with ease. No real trouble. Wargs can eat whatever they want. Even Uruk Halberds. Such a powerful unit, definitely underrated. I just don't remember how they were before in 2.2. I haven't used them enough. But they might have been severely buffed in this patch. Because they are just monsters. Like, especially when they become a very large unit. Like 40, 40 in their battalion, they're just completely... They're just completely crushing us. Ah, oh, they are going for Tau. Skachatrog. That's going to be some issues. Definitely. Oh, I think that Ar Arunayim is attacking Mithrond. Yeah. Ar Arunayim reigns supreme. Wow. Moriander siege. Mithrond raised. The elves are really struggling now. Ah, could we perhaps trick Ori into attacking us? We might. And we do have a lot of armor piercing units here as well. We have some crossbows. You know what? I really want to make... Yeah, let's do it, guys. Let's go straight for Castle Doom now. Yeah, he only has trash, to be honest. Ready for fighting. We the enemy. There we go, guys. Objective they still have a large, large army in there. I just wanted to do this to make it a little bit more interesting. They actually left this I'm place. Ah, you. they're coming for Kutatos Moor. Now we're going to hit this guy with Lurks. Getting a lot of temples all around. Utot Lurch can upgrade. Still nothing, no word about the Nazkai. Oh, there we go. Nazkai, 16 turns. These are monsters, guys. 16 turns, that's going to be a while. Definitely a while. But we're going to take down Baradur now. But that's not going for to be in this episode. Yeah, this battle will be fought off camera. And we shall definitely start to see some real expansion here. Mordor is going to go down. Lothlorien will be completely emptied. And the Casa Doom shall fall. And we will have Mithril Mines to feed our Nazkai. Enelwife shall soon be completely exterminated. We are going to exterminate every town. We just find we want to completely make them for uh, regret what they have done to us. The damage they've been annoying little fly while we have dealt with large factions. They're going to feel our wrath. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really glad we, we got the ring. We're going to soon see some Nazgul up here in Isengard. It's probably going to take around 20 turns. But yeah. Uh, if you want, please leave some feedback whether you want me to just skip until we have gotten Nazca and such. 
and I could probably just show some highlights. I don't know. Um, we'll have to see about it. But just give me some feedback on what you want this campaign to look in the future. Do you enjoy me to just attack all factions and such? Or will it become boring in the long run? You'll have to tell me. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.